<laughs> so we're going to be showing you a handful of music videos by a band that's been around for a long time, starting with their newest video. Okay. I'm intrigued. Let's They're do it. so sp suspicious. I don't know who this is. I have no idea what this is. I can tell you I already don't know this band. Wait, is this Linkin Park? I love that the first three people are like convinced they don't know who it is. I like this. This doesn't sound bad. The guy in the striped shirt is so nice, he's my favorite. Music video work well together. The guy in the button up shirt is so nice, he's my other favorite. It's really simple drum beat in the background, and I'm like, the guy in the Punisher hat is being really rude. I have a love hate relationship with him because because he simultaneously like really like seems like he listens to music passionately and he's like very like invested in music but also he's so opinionated very depressing music video i can tell it's not depressing it's uplifting Why is No idea who this is. This Lincoln Park. What the hell was that? <laughs> Funny thing about this song is when we play it live, you all of the live stuff comes out a lot more than in the mix. So like this, when you hear it this way, it's like yeah, it sounds very like electronic or like pop. And then when you come, when you hear it any other way, it's like a lot more rock. Which I feel like if they heard that version, they would like recognize it. <laughs> Okay, seriously, this first video, I have kids and I won't show them this first video. Like, it's just so bad. By the way, it was directed by a guy who did porn, who's a porn director. Is that the same guy? He looks completely different. Chester's hair in this video is so insane. My hair in this video is way worse. <laughs> This is what I expect from Linkin Park. Not that pop shit that they were popping out. It starts with You you go immediately for him like not that pop shit and then the very next thing is like our poppiest song. I imagine this is where everybody was like, "Oh, this is Linkin Park." Wait, this is Linkin Park. Is this Linkin Park? Nice. This is very 2000s with like the cheap graphics that like wouldn't pass now. Oh, don't worry, those cheap graphics didn't pass when we put the video out either. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> This is honestly a really good song. Thank you. The funny thing is, I am positive that if we put out a song today that sounds like this, people will just been like, oh, yuck, what is that? This in 2000 is great. This in 2017 is embarrassing. I feel like Chester's hair has become a caricature of itself. <laughs> Why were we all so angry in this video? These lyrics are so dramatic, but you don't really notice because it's so loud. Because it's so loud. I think that's my favorite 90s hairstyle is just like the multiple unicorn horns. <laughs> I know I don't the girls comment about because it's so loud is like one of my favorite things. I like this animation that they're doing. I actually really like this music video. This is really cool. Maybe we need I to do another to animated video. Player. This is getting good reviews like right now. You could tell like as the music videos go on, you could like hear the difference and the change in their style. I like that she's picking up on that. That was cool. She appreciated the evolution. Cause I mean, you put these videos in, in the row next to each other and it's like, like this video for, or the song for Breaking the Habit at this point doesn't have any heavy guitars in it. Like. It's not, it doesn't sound like an alternative rock song. The evolution feels really like smooth and fast when that happens, but in, tr in reality, it was like over years. Linkin Park made good music. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that he's enjoying it. This is, this is great. Every step that I, take is another... I like this song. It's so funny watching like the lead singer's like evolution. <laughs> I want to send them all shirts. Can we do that? Totally. I totally want to do that. I know this song too. Every single one. This song was this song was on Transformers. This is a Transformers theme song. This is the one that I just heard a thousand times as a kid. <laughs> Half the band when we first got asked if we wanted to put a song in the first Transformers movie. Three of the six guys were on the fence about it. The main reason why we did it is because we loved the toys growing up. 
you know? Like, I had every Transformer. A lot of the music is sort of the same, and there's just something just kind of cringy about it, but I think it's just because everyone else hates on them, so I feel like I need to. Okay, hold on. I want to know who this girl's friends are that are such, like, intense haters that they've, like, that she cares so much about what they think about our band. Even though she doesn't really know our band, she does know that her friends hate our band. So, that was the band Linkin Park. No way! She never figured it out. <laughs> they have been a That's great. Voice. Good for them for still making music. They like stuck around, even with all the hate that they get. The first song we played you is their latest single, and there's been a decent amount of backlash from their fans. Some saying that the song sounds too poppy, and that they don't even really scream sing in the song like they used to. Yeah, I agree. Their newest song is sort of like a sellout in a sense, just because it's like, oh, let's do what's trendy now, and let's bring in like a female pop singer and then we'll make everything more mellow now instead of like 90s angst because that's not in anymore. The like do it's trendy line is so funny because we make our albums take like 12 to 18 months to make. Either we've we've come up before the trend like we've we've anticipated it or we make something that was cool like 18 months ago. Bands evolve so fans kind of have to like suck it up. There's so many fans of musicians where it's if they don't do the one thing they're known for in the one category, in the one genre, in the one subgenre, then they hate it. And I don't think they understand how music works because you're supposed to change it up. Preach. If we do a bunch of songs that are too similar, it drives us crazy. That's why we make songs that don't sound the same. And then we do the different and what happens? It's as part of like the core of why the evolution and why the experimentation is a thing for the band. So what did you think about how the teens reacted to you? I feel like the reactions were kind of what, they're kind of what we expect. Like we've we've been getting reactions across the board for seven studio albums now. And so even when our most popular album was Hybrid Theory, even when that album came out, by the t but from the beginning to the end of that album was like, oh, the band is this thing. It's one step closer, heavy, blah, blah, blah. And then we got to in the end, which was a pop song, and it got on the pop radio, and the, and the one step closer kids were like, what the hell just happened? Like, they sold out. For like 15 years, it's been that thing back and forth of like people defending the band, some people understanding certain parts about the band, and other people like not really liking it. It's one of the things that makes doing this a lot of fun because it's really vibrant and it's really multi-dimensional. Doing what you want to do and not at the, not just doing it for the sake of doing it, but doing it because you feel really um, compelled, like it's, it's, it's rewarding. As long as I walk in to the situation in the studio or on stage and I know that I love what we did, I have to be really conscious of that first and foremost because if I don't love it, people still love and hate it. And if I don't love it, then I will be really sad. Like I'll be really disappointed in myself. And finally, what do you want to say to the teens who reacted to you? I really enjoyed watching the video of everybody listening to the music. I mean, I don't ever get a chance to like see people reacting to our music that way. It was really fun and special for me to watch people um, listen to it. and. There were so many nice, I mean, I feel like just them rocking out to the songs is like, that on its own was just amazing. Thanks to FBE for making this and for having me, and uh, thanks to everybody who uh, reacted to our music. Um, I hope you do give our new album, One More Light, a fair shot. It's uh, coming out on May 19th.